Good morning, friends, and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? That's good to hear. Are you ready to sing our good morning song together? Stretch your arms out like airplane wings. We'll fly to one side, over to the other side, fly back to the middle. Big stretch out in front. Now take the circle up over your head. We'll stretch on this side, over to the other side, Last stretch, and now let's sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. Welcome to circle time. I hope you're having a great day so far. We have three things to do before we move on to the calendar and weather chart behind me. First, turn on your listening ears. Next, put on your thinking hats. Today my thinking hat has some snaps underneath my chin, so I'm going to snap them all up. And the last thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Can you show me how to do that? That's right, boom, 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 boom. Let me grab my pointing stick and we can go over the date together. Let's begin first with the month, which is right up here. Do you remember what the month is? November, today is November 9th. Let's move the chip over from the number eight. Yesterday was November 8th. And today is November 9th, and the year is 2021, but you can also say 2021. Let's see how many days we've had so far in the month of November. Take out your counting fingers and warm them up to give them a little stretch. I have my counting stick, and let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. We've had nine days so far in the month of November. If you keep your nine fingers up like this, but you take away two fingers, one, two, now we're holding up seven fingers and we're ready to sing the days of the week song. For this, we for this song, we hold up seven fingers for each one of the days of the week. If you know the words, Sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Down at the bottom of the chart, we have the days of the week to go over. So listen for the sound that the day starts with, and you can tell me what the day is. Yesterday was m. Monday, the first day of the weekday. That means that today is t Tuesday, and tomorrow will be w Wednesday. Let's sing today's Tuesday together, and then we'll go over the season. Today's Tuesday, today's Tuesday, today's Tuesday, all day long. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, all day long. Up at the top of the chart, we have the season. It's still fall, friends. And what does fall look like outside at your house? Are the leaves colorful? Or maybe the leaves have already fallen off the trees. Or maybe you live in a place where the leaves stay green even in the fall. At my house, when I look outside right now, all of the leaves have already fallen off of the trees. Speaking of outside, let's sing the weather song together and then we can share what we see outside of the window. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? 
Can you tell? Can you tell? Today at my house, when I look outside of my window, it's another mostly sunny day, except there are a few thin cirrus clouds in the sky. And my temperature chart is still on orange. It's another warm day. When I wake up out and I look outside of my window, the grass is covered with a frost, which is a thin layer of ice. But then as the day goes on, it starts to warm up and the sun melts the frost away. Yesterday, we talked about this letter of the week. Do you remember the sound that it makes? This letter says V. And do you remember what it's called? V. You're right. This is a capital or uppercase V. V says V. I wonder what we'll find inside of the letter box today. Inside of this box, I have a picture of something that starts with the letter V. v. Here's your first clue. This is a very large mountain and inside is magma. But when it erupts, lava comes out. What's that called? Are you ready to see? A volcano. So a volcano is a large mountain. Inside is magma, which is molten rock. But once the volcano erupts, the lava comes out. Volcano starts with the letter V. v. This is how you write an uppercase V. v. One more time. And here is the number of the week. This double digit number is the number 24. You have to write two numbers when you write the number 24. Can you show me with your finger what number you write first? Two, that's right. And after you write the number two, you write this number. Can you show me with your fingers what number this is? Four. Two, four. Twenty-four. Let's count the number twenty-four together using the large bead frame. This is how you count the number twenty-four using the large bead frame. Ten. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. 23, 24, two tens, four units, 24. Even though at my house the mornings have been frosty, I was still able to find a flower that survived the frost. So let's count the petals together from the remaining flower that I found outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Halfway there. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and one more petal makes 24, 24 petals. Yesterday, I showed you how to say poem in sign language. Do you remember how to do that? Let's do that together. Poem. Today's short story is called The Fortune Teller. A fortune teller is someone who believes that they know something is going to happen, even before it actually does happen. So sit back and relax and enjoy today's short story. A long time ago, there lived a man who believed that he could read the future in the stars. He spent all of his time gazing at the night sky and was always busy worrying about the future. 
One fine evening, he was walking along the open road outside of the village. His eyes were fixed on the stars. He kept walking, looking at the stars, without looking down even once. Suddenly, he fell into a ditch which was full of mud and water. He was sinking into the muddy water and was trying very hard to climb out. Help me, help me, he cried. His cries for help soon brought the villagers running. One of the villagers gave him a branch from a tree which helped him to climb out of the mud. As he came out of the mud, one of the villagers said, you try to read the future in the stars and yet you fail to see what is at your feet. This may teach you a lesson to pay more attention to what is right in front of you and let the future take care of itself. The end. Sometimes people get so focused on what's going to happen in the future that they don't see what is happening right now. And that's today's lesson. Don't worry about what may happen. Instead, focus on what is happening right now. Today's work is inspired by the starry night sky from the short story. Let's go see. For today's work, we are going to be making a sensory bottle inspired by the stars from today's poem. So I have a plastic bottle right here and it's filled with water. The first thing that I'm going to do is add a few drops of food coloring. Unfortunately, I don't have any blue food coloring today, so I'm just going to use a few drops of yellow. I really think that it's going to make the glitter stick out and be extra shiny. Add a few drops of the food coloring. Next, I have this package of glitter right here. Give it a little shake and cut off the corner piece so that I can pour it into the sensory bottle like this. I think I'm going to use the whole thing or at least most of it. If you have some star sequins, that would be a great addition to the sensory bottle. But for now, I'm just going to put the top on, make sure that it's on very tight, and give it a shake. And look at this. We have a starry and glittery sensory bottle inspired by today's poem. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Sensory bottles are a great tool to use whenever you're feeling angry or upset. We've actually made them before for our mindful toolkits. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give my video a big thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. I'm now offering one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions as well as curriculum consultations, so feel free to reach out for more information. Before we go, we have one more song to sing. Let's wave like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.